Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to multiply fractions, next number to whole number, and vice versa. So let's start with the first example muna. Ang example natin is 1 and 2 third, mamultiply mo sa 5. So paano natin siya gagawin? Are we going to multiply it directly ba? Kagaya ng 1 times 5, that will be 5, tapos 2 thirds? 2 thirds? No, hindi pa niyan. Not by a long shot. So, ang gagawin mo, pag mag-multiply ka ng mixed number to uh, another fraction, yung mga mixed number, kailangan nyo muna siyang gawing improper fraction. So, gawin mo natin improper fraction to. So, that will be 3 times 1. That will be 3 plus 1 and 2. That will be 5. That will be the numerator. A copy mo lang yung denominator. That will be 5 third. Ngayon, multiply mo na siya. Paano yung 5 dito? Yung 5 na yan, naglalagay ka ng over 1. So, lalagay ko lang. 5 over 1. Sir, saan yung galing yung 1? Remember, 5 divided by 1 is 5 pa rin. I'm not changing the value. Hindi Bina naman nat natin binabago yung value niya. Ang ginagawa lang natin yung itsura niya para mas madali siyang i-multiply. So, dahil nabago mo na siya, 5 times 5, that will be 25. Tapos, tapos, 3 times 1, that will be 3. So, copy mo lang siya. This is already the answer. 25 over mo ng 3. Diba? Ngayon, sa so, yung mga teachers nyo, okay, pag improper fraction, ayaw nila yan. Gusto nila mixed number. So, let's change it to mixed number. So, 25, divide mo ng 3. Ilang 3 meron sa 25, that will be 8. 8 times 3, that will be 24. 25 minus 24, that will be 1. Remainder, remainder 1. So, again, yung quotient natin, that will be the whole number. At yung remainder, that will be the numerator. At yung divisor, that will be the divide. sorry. Yung divisor, that will be the denominator. So, ito yung sagot. So, from, ah, not this one. So, from the question na 1 and 2 third, the times mo siya ng 5, ang sagot ay 25 over 3, or 8 and 1 third. Let's have the second example. What if we have 2 and 1 third? Okay. So, look simple. Ngayon, pinalit ko siya. So, imbes na nauna yung, di ba, una di, yung unang example, nauna yung mixed number. Tapos yung pangalaw, whole number. So, switch ko lang. Ano pag whole number, times mo ng mixed number? Nagawin mo, yung whole number mo na yan, magiging ganito siya. Talagyan mo ng over 1. Wala kang binago sa value. Binago mo lang yung itsura. Tapos, multiply siya natin dito sa 1 and 1 third. Gawin mo muna siyang improper. So, 3 times 1, that will be 3, plus mo ng 1, that will be, that will be 4, right? Copy mo yung denominator na 3. Ngayon, so multiply na natin siya, 2 times 4, that will be 8, and 3 times 1, that will be 3. Hindi ko lang to dito, at 8 third, diba? Minsan, ayaw ng teacher natin ng improper fraction, so we have, Kailangan mo siyang gawing mixed number. So that will be 8 divided mo na, divided by 3. Ilang 3 meron sa 8, that will be 2. Times 3, that will be 6. 8 minus 6, that will be 2. Remainder 2. Diba? So copy. So, the quotient, that will be the whole number. At yung remainder, that will be the numerator. At yung divisor natin, that will be the denominator. Hmm. So, 2 and 2 thirds. Yung sa tanong na 2 times 1 ng 1 and 1 third, ang sagot ay 2 and 2 thirds. Let's go on. So, let's move on pala. 2 and 1 third times 1 ng 4. Again, change the next number to improper. Times 3, that will be 6. Plus 1 ng 1, that will be 7. And you just copy the denominator. So, multiply na natin siya. At yung whole number, gawin natin 4 over 1. 
Okay. That will be, multiply na natin siya 7 times 4, that will be 28. But yung 3 times 1, that will be 3. So 28, divide mo ng 3. Ilang 3 meron sa 28, that will be 9. So 9 times 3, that will be 27. 28 minus 27, that will be 1. At the remainder, 1 to. Ngayon, yung quotient natin, that will be the whole number. At uh, yung remainder, that will be the numerator. At yung divisor natin, that will be naman, that will be the denominator. So, it's either 28 over 3 or 9 and 1 third. Dun sa tanong na 2 and 1 third times mo ng 4. And that's the end of the lesson on how to multiply fractions, next number, to whole number, and vice versa. Kung may tanong kayo, suggestions, or comment, please comment down. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Salamat po. Uh, like and subscribe. Malapit na mag-10K. Salamat po ulit. Bye!